What's good, flock? Welcome back to the Fall Essentials line of Black Sheep of Fashion. Today, we are going to hop into styling, and I'm so excited. Today's video, I chose to style our favorite fall essential, the freaking flannel. Um, so the flannel seems to be the piece that as soon as September 22nd rears its head on the calendar, people are popping the flannels out everywhere. So I said, let me go ahead and make this the first styling video to get these folks the do's and the don'ts of the flannels. Because people be out here wearing a flannel like September 22nd just release the hounds on flannels. You can't just be doing any and everything that you want to do with the flannel. So the Black Sheep of Fashion is here to give you a little, you know, guide guidelines you know a little something here or there don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit those thumbs up it really helps my channel out um i appreciate it and cannot wait to get into this video let's go Okay, so when we're styling a flannel, there's two things you want to consider. The base color, which is the color that the shirt would be if it didn't have anything on it, and then the accent colors. So the base color of this flannel is red. The shirt is clearly mostly red. So I decided to hone in on the accent colors here. Because black is an accent color, I went with a dark wash jean because black goes well with dark wash. Then when I went with the white thermal it's zeroing in on these thin white stripes that you see in the flannel pattern and finally I have the hat to take care of that khaki accent that you also see in the shirt so those are base colors and accent colors so next up there's a new trend uh, where people do the hoodie with the flannel and so what we you'll, what you'll see here is the hoodie acting as like a t-shirt or a base that grounds the flannel and it just adds another accent to have a hood coming out of the top so for this one um, this flannel is like a a khaki or a wheat and a navy so again I go with the dark wash because the accent color of navy is a dark and then I'm what is called family matching the beige hoodie to the khaki accents even though they aren't exactly the same it still works because they're in the same family of colors and so because I have that final third layer of the white t-shirt sticking out I go with the white cap to kind of bring the outfit together in terms of detail but the reason that this works is because the base is navy so I've got a dark wash and then the other accent color is a khaki or in the beige brown family so the hoodie accents it really well for this next one I actually built kind of from the ground up uh, you may notice throughout my videos I don't usually wear light wash jeans so I was really trying to push myself out of the comfort zone this time around so I started with a light wash jean and then I paired it with the gray scoop hem shirt just because I like the light accents together um, and to top that off I chose this flannel that's actually only nine dollars from Walmart which was sick um, it is this burgundy black and it's got these really thin gray lines on it so you'll see when it uh, you see how the gray undershirt pulls ever so slightly those gray lines that otherwise would not even really be noticeable that's a really strong use of pulling an accent color through um, your undershirt and then I think what pulls this outfit together is that the base color of this shirt is that dark maroon and it goes really well with the tobacco colored boots that I have on. So there's multiple elements going here that really make this flannel outfit come together. Um, and then like I told you all, y'all will see this backpack throughout the entire season. One, because it costs more than I normally pay for a backpack, but two, because it just tops off a fall winter outfit really well all right so in the beginning of this video you learned about the base color of a flannel versus the accent color of a flannel the base color being the color that the flannel would be if the flannel did not have any stripes on it 
um, and then the accent color being all non-base colors that either the one that stands out the most or the one that stands out the least is how you can think about it. That's usually how you're going to want to style it. Um, leave a comment down below that lets me know which base color flannels do you already have and what accent colors are on those base color flannels. Um, that way you can get started on your ideas for how to style them and really look like you have intention in the way you wear a flannel not just like I had some clothes and one of them was a flannel so I put it on all right let's keep going leave that down in the comments thanks all right so we're gonna go back to the hoodie and the flannel I again this is a new style for me so I'm just trying it out for this video um, this time the difference is that I'm gonna do a graphic hoodie this is a Super Nintendo hoodie from H&M uh, and I'm going to play off of the red Super Nintendo logo with this red and black flannel one of the things that I didn't get to say earlier is like sometimes your flannel is going to be equally the two colors that it is like this flannel is equally red and black so you usually want to do some kind of accent from both of them so I've got the black pants to pull on the black part of the flannel I've got the black hat as well and then I've got the red uh, part of the flannel that pulls out the Super Nintendo logo itself and I decided to go completely different with the shoes and do these wheat Nike Royal Court size shoes just a really cool fall color and it complements well with the red in the flannel and then for this last outfit, I'm going to repurpose that same red and black flannel. I'm going to tie it around my waist and add a different accent so that um, you can see again a little, uh, just to switch it up a bit if you're looking for more of a street style. So I've got the white scoop hem, the red and black flannel tied around my waist, and then I'm going to add this gray sweatshirt. Again, the key points here is that the sweatshirt features red and black very prominently, so it pulls in the flannel for a really cool, well-coordinated street look. Thank you as always for stopping by. Don't forget to leave a comment below with what base color flannels uh, do you have and what accent colors are on them. Next time we are going to do a mid-season essentials update as we get into the colder weather. What kind of things you need to start looking toward as you go into the winter. Remember it's always okay to leave the 99 to be the one. Catch you guys next time. See ya.